I'm back. Sonya had called me my good, my good, a good Judy of mine, good friend of mine, good friend of mine had called me, so I had to talk to her. Happy birthday, Sonya! Everybody think we related because we got the same last name. Anyway, so I'm gonna show you how to do a turkey. The first thing we're gonna do is wash it. You gotta wash your meat. Look, look at your man and say, "Man, you must wash your meat." Let me see. Oh Lord. Okay, well that's good. That's good right there. Excuse the dish soap that's right here. This is this is for when I mess up the dishes. That's for when I mess up the dishes. Alright. And you got the turkey pan right here. So as soon as I finish washing it, as soon as I finish washing it, it goes right in there. Let's get this sucker open. I don't even know how I did it last time. Oh Lord, I hope y'all having a really good Thanksgiving. And this is the turkey that comes with a thermometer in it. But it's all right though. Since I'm a chef, I actually have thermometers in my car. And I just use those to check the temperature of the turkey. Get that in the trash. All right. Now what you're going to do is lift the turkey. Lift the Hopefully y'all can see that. Look, this is the ass. This is the ass right here. You see that ass? Look at all that ass. Look at all that ass. All right. You're going to go through. Mm, undo this. Undo that. I need. I want, I want her to be wide open. All right. You're going to reach into that hole right there and grab the neck and the gibbets and all that stuff. So you're going to reach in there. There's the neck. There's the neck. Grab that neck out. Throw, throw that neck to the side somewhere. Oh, that's my cake. And then, I told her to leave this turkey out. Why is it still cold in here? God, Jesus. Hold on. All right, y'all. Sorry about that. I had to get my oven. I mean, I had to, <laughs> had to get my cake out of the oven. So there's one thing, one more thing you need to be looking for, and it's the, you found the neck, so pull this hole up by her neck, slam her down, and oop, there it is right there. The giblets, chat. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Pull them giblets there. Toss that to the side. Make you some giblet gravy. I'm going to show you, I'm gonna, maybe I'll show you how to do that later on. And then there's the thermometer right in the titty. You want to put your, let me get down here. If, whenever you check the temperature, whether you're doing like a whole chicken, whole duck, whole turkey, you want to check the breast because the breast is, number one, it's the hardest thing to cook because it takes so long. That's the only reason because it's like it's really, really thick and there's a lot of meat and not a lot of bone. Like the leg has like half and half and the wing is, is more bone than actual meat. The breast is one of the only parts, and you know, go, same goes for the thigh too. The thigh is a good chunk of meat, but there's a good decent amount of bone to where it won't take as long to cook. But when it comes to that titty, Chad, that titty is all meat and not enough bone, and so it takes it a lot longer to cook. So whenever you want to check the temperature of the turkey, check the titty. Titty, 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 titty. All right, let's go. Oh, let me get out. So get you some cold water and you're gonna wrench this off. Wrench your turkey off. And this is one this is one thing I really do love to cook because I get to play with it. Look at that. Fly, turkey, fly. Fly. I get to play with it. I don't like playing with my food. I like having fun with my food. And I was gonna cut it to make sure that it cooks a lot longer, but my mama didn't want to. And then you wanna just, 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 you bottoms. You bottoms, you want to clean that out. You know what to do. You clean that out. Wrench the water through it. And clean that inside out. Get, get a good rinse on it. This is going to be your wife. 
Rinse it all the way out. Get a good wrench on it. All right. It's been like 10 minutes, Shannon. I'm ready to go. All right, so we got a good wrench on that, on that turkey. We're going to slide this big bitch over here. Slide this big bitch over here, and I'm going to show y'all how to rub your turkey. I'm going to show you how to make love to your turkey. All right. So, ooh, let me get my charge out the way. Get this jug out the way. All right. So, here's the turkey. And so, what we're going to do is we're going to take a, look, take a little bowl, and we're going to mix some dry rub seasonings on it. Mix some dry. We're going to dry rub that bitch. Hold on. I'll be back. Where am I drinking? All right. Here we go. Ooh. All right. So we're gonna mix our dry seeds. We're gonna mix our dry seasonings in the bowl. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna ooh, Jesus. Do some salt. And don't be don't don't be ashamed to be heavy-handed with it. Because you're gonna need all of it. You're gonna need a lot to season the turkey. You see all this meat we gotta season? Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Get you some pepper. All right. Get you some original. Matter of fact, let me get you some original. Who am I to sneeze, child of powder? Who? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, that pepper. Oh, Ooh, please be careful. All right. Some garlic powder. <laughs> Here we go again. Here we go again. All right. And some time. Some pack of paprika. Paprika! Paprika! And some onion powder. Oops. All right. So we got that, and then we're gonna mix. We're gonna mix that up. Mix it up. Mix. Stir it up with the gears. Stir it up with the gears. Stir it up with the gears. Stir it up. Stir it up. See, there's all our dry seasoning. Stir it up. There we go. There it is. Can you see? Can you see? All right. And so to help the seasoning stick on this beer right here, we're going to use some extra virgin olive oil. Now, you can use butter if you want to, but I want to use EVOO. I want to use some extra virgin olive oil. So just pour it on there. Pour it on there just like that. Get you a hefty amount on it because you don't want it to dry. And then this is what we're going to do. This, this is the fun part right here. One of the fun parts. Rub it in, bitch. Rub it in. And then what you're going to do is, let me show you, let me show you from this angle. See that skin right there? That fourth skin right there? You're going to peel it back, bitch, and get all in there. Get it all in there. In between the titty skin and shit. Get it all up in there. Don't be scared of it. Don't be scared of the turkey. because it'll fold back just like that. And then when it cooks, they'll be nice and crispy. But go on in there. Get in between that. You know, just like when you put lotion on your ass, your ass, knees. You know, rub it. Rub it. Don't be scared of the turkey child is dead. Rub it. And then what you do is you flip that bitch over. 
Yeah, get the bag. Get the bag, girl. Get the bag. Don't be scared. Rub it. Smack it. Flip it and rub it down. Leave that in there. Get your good rub of olive oil on it. And now, if you want to use butter, you can do the same thing. Go let me get down here sometime. If you want to use butter, you want to use butter, you do the exact same thing. You melt the butter in the microwave or leave it out so it can be room temperature. And then, as a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all just so that y'all can get an idea of it. So this one going to have olive oil and butter on it. All right, so I got a whole stick of butter, and I put it in the microwave for like uh, like 17 seconds. So what you do is just grab you a pinch of butter and rub it on there. Rub it on there, and then what you do is you take, you know, when it's like that, this is what you put under the titty. Put that under the titty just like that and leave it under there. Now, you can get real messy with it. This is... But this is how you know the turkey going to be good, child. Stick that butter on up in there. And then just take the rest and rub it down. Rub it down. Rub it down. Just like how you be taking the bath. Get under the arms. Get under the arms, child. And then don't forget the bath. Then get up under the other arm. Oof. Oh, Jesus. You is heavy, child. And then, you know, just like under here, like some, high, some of you hold, don't be washing up under. Don't be washing up under your legs and stuff. Why, you know, get up under that, too. You get up under that, too. Get up under that and rub it. Rub it. Oh, Lord, I done got butt on my shirt. All right. I'm gonna get this butter off of there. We're gonna put on the dry seasonings mix. Chad, I need somebody to pause this video because my hands is just a mess. Oh, let me see if I can do it. <laughs> All right, I'm back with freshly washed hands. Make sure you wanna keep your hands washed. Whenever you wanna, whenever you wanna touch the turkey and then go do something, make sure you wash your hands. That's what I've been doing. Y'all just ain't been seeing. I've been eating it out because I want to see if y'all wanna be messy and be like, he don't wash his hands. But, <laughs> but whenever you go from this to something else, make sure you keep constantly keep washing your hands, especially when it comes to this turkey. You don't need nobody getting sick. All right. So we got our dry rub. Then what you're going to do is take the dry rub, put it on the, ch on the ch I'm about to say put it on the chicken. But I'll put it on the turkey just like this here. You can sprinkle it on like this. And then I'm going to show y'all how to rub it on. And then remember that skin I told y'all? You know, put it under there too. It's hard to season the breast. It's so much meat. And then, let me turn it around. Under that leg, Chad. Do that too. People eat that part. Put it around here. Put it around the, put it around the ass. Don't be scared. Oh, Lord, I got that in there. Somebody eat that turkey ass. Somebody will eat that turkey ass. Then you turn it back around. There's the head. Put it over there too. Make sure it's all over the breast. Make sure there's some on the inside of it. Make sure that wing, make sure that wing is properly seasoned. Because people, people eat that, child. People eat that. And on the back, can y'all see it? I'm trying to turn it around. On the back part of the wing, get that too. Do the other side. Can't be scared of your meat, child. Tell your man, don't be scared of your meat. You better wash it and season it. Make sure that the mama that don't come out. That's if you ain't like me and got a thermometer in the car. 
And then whatever you got left, just sprinkle it on top. And boom, there it is. And then what we're going to try to do for somebody that had recommended this. We're going to put an apple and a celery in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the turkey in the hole right there. They said that'll keep it from drying out. So we're going to see, child. But yeah, we got to season. If you want to leave it sitting there overnight, you can. Do what you got to do. But we're going to go ahead and try to put this hole in the oven. All right, so we got our apple. This is, I want to say this is gold apples, cold apples, the green apples. And then just, they said just place it in there just like that. So we'll see how it turns out. And then we got our celery. We're going to, oh, no, take a couple of celery stalks. Place those in there like that. Oh, I can't. Let me break it in half. Come on, this is how you know I'm a bottom. All right. <laughs> put that in there. Wrap it some aluminum foil, put it in the oven. I got the oven at 350. And yeah, go from there. You should know the rest. Yeah. Cool. Look on the passenger side. Could be on the floor, could be in the seat. Well, this is a whole lot easier. Ooh, that's too close. Ooh. Oh, wow. There's a lot of juice in there. And there's that apple. Guess we can take it out and make apple pie. All oh, that juice. Blame it on the juice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep, it's time for me to go to bed. <laughs> Trying to feel breaking out. Okay, maybe right there. Okay. Yeah. It's not soft. This is should be. You don't think so? You think it should be softer than that? Mm -hmm. It's not soft. It's soft. Where can I cut it at? Cut he on he breast. Look at that. One piece. Mm. Mm. How you take this so <laughs> hot? <laughs> oh, oh, mama. Oh, that's so good.